like it's kind of, I don't know if that's unique, I don't know if I want to say, but it certainly seems like it's like the like way you just put it, it's a tradition here. Oh, yeah. So that's a lot of pressure then. Yeah, thank you. Not, not almost, maybe I shouldn't say pressure, but, uh, you know, you know what you got, you know what you're A lot of responsibility. You, a lot of responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about that. How soon does that start for you guys? I mean, as soon as that clock takes and turns and you're a senior, I mean, you yep. take over practice and Pretty much. lifting and all that stuff. Once the clock hits zero, our last playoff game, yeah. it's on us. Uh, we take over in the weight room. We become leaders up there. We become leaders during practice, during like spring camp is mainly on us. I mean, warm ups, a lot of the lifting stuff. I mean, we always have coaches there, but they rely on us a lot to lead the younger kids, so they don't always have to take responsibility for them too. Yeah, if that makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, in that in that regard, I mean, there's some things you know over the years, anyone in particular that kind of pops out that set a good example, you know, for, for what what that kind of leadership is. I mean, obviously, Evan's been in the program for four years. Definitely, Evan. <laughs> Evan really. Help me become like the leader I am today. Yeah. So when you sit down, you start thinking, I gotta do this, this, and this, keep this stuff in line. You should be turn back to some of that stuff that Evan did. That's yeah. Example. Yeah. Some, some of guys. Definitely a lot of that class. I mean, Evan, Colin Weimer really, really taught me how to become a leader, and really taught me a lot about the game too. Yeah. So. You know, uh, kind of shifting gears a little bit. Uh, you know, in terms of just you as a player, I mean, you kind of stepped on the scene as a freshman. You know, kind of had a great season as a freshman year, and you've been kind of building since then. You know, what was it like, you know, that adjustment from, from JV, to, or not JV, I guess, eighth grade, to, uh, to varsity football? I mean, and how much did that prepare you for what you're doing now? Um, well, it was definitely nice coming, kind of coming straight up and working with the varsity mm -hmm. because the speed of the game from middle school to high school is so much different. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> and it's, I mean, I've heard from high school to college, it's so much faster. Everybody's bigger, faster, stronger. Yeah. But with each year, what I've learned is nothing that like Colin Weimer told me back when I was a freshman. Is each year you play the game, it starts to slow down. You start to be able to see things you couldn't see before and read and react to things you couldn't before. Mm -hmm. With every year you play the game, I mean, it just comes with experience. But Absolutely. And then also it comes, or uh, it helps with like learning the types of defenses and the calls and the signals. Because coming straight up from freshman, you're running a completely different thing. <laughs> yeah. And so having that little bit of background with what well, was Coach Tinkler that mm -hmm. made it a lot easier coming my sophomore year and being able to really be a vocal and leader on the field and being confident with myself. So, so from the person you were when you stepped onto the field as a freshman to who you are now, getting ready for tomorrow, I mean, what do you think the biggest thing you've changed and grown and, and really kind of become you know, is for you? Is, is it the mental side of things? Definitely the mental side of yeah. things. Coming in as a freshman, I mean, like, you know the game, you know a little bit about it, but now you can... It's more like breaking down coverages and it's breaking down like what they're going to do, little tendencies, and stuff I never thought I'd know about the game I know now. Yeah. And another big thing is like confidence. Yeah. Like before it was kind of like everybody else was older than me. You know, it's still kind of like where do I, I put my that. voice in? Where do I not put my voice in? How do I but in this situation? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now it's more on me. Yeah. So.